Um, not only is it my 50th video, um, but it's a holiday special as well. It's about the tech to take away on your holiday and the holiday hacks that make life a little bit easier while you're away and help on the packaging and all the other stuff that goes on while you're on holiday. The Bose noise cancelling headphones that I use um, are really discreet, they're in-ear, um, it's a powered um, system. So in there is the battery, that's where you charge it from, that's where you switch it on, switch it off. Um, and you do also have some uh, inline controls, uh, which is great for pausing and also turning the cancel noise cancellation on and off. Um, so great on the plane cancelling out the kids' noises, or even sitting on a beach. Great little things, come in a little pouch. So, you've enjoyed your journey, got off at the airport the other side, you've made your way to your hotel. Now, obviously, you wanna plug things in, get them charged. Um, now, some people just carry around a converter, and then they get the charger, plug it into the converter, and that's it. Now, this one's a great little one from port -a pow that's got four USB ports on it, um, and it goes from blue purple the light on the back when it's charging or when it's fully charged goes back to blue again so that one's great at letting you know when things are charging when they're finished charging and obviously you can charge four things at once up to five amps but one of my holiday hacks is it take your little euro adapter or USA adapter and you plug a four-way into it and that way then you can have four lots of your own devices all plugged in switch them on and off as and when you want. And the best thing about this, because the US and the Euro plug are only two pin, if that is then too low down, when you want to plug your USB ports in and there's something beneath the socket, you can flick it that way, put them all in, plug your devices in, and then one socket turns into four and all your UK devices are controlled by just one converter. And these fit into your suitcase really easily. Great little holiday hack. So this handy little universal travel adapter from uh, Google, it's um, basically made by a company called Scross, um, and it says adapt to the world. And essentially it gives you everything adapter-wise to every other plug around the world. So you would just push out on the side there where you're going to, push there, so let it back in. So for example, I'm in Europe, and I know that's the adapter that I want. So I plug it in the wall. And that gives me two USB ports. Now the beauty about this is, yes, I can charge my stuff like iPad, phone, other little things like GoPros and portable battery packs. That's great. But what would happen if my wife wants to plug in a straightness or something like that? And you just plug that out of the back and there's your converter. So now you can plug your three pin converter in there if you wanted more USB sockets, because that's only got two, and the port of power's got four, now you've got four socket converter. If you want to just go back to two, keep things simple, you've got that. And say so your next holiday destination is USA. Pluck it out, one converter, still converts everything you brought with you, now works in the USA, only one converter all the way, neatly back into your bag, and you're done. Now, speaking of traveling and going on aircraft, you know I've got a drone, and I like to take my drone everywhere with me, and this is the very first time I've flown whilst I've owned a drone. So, it was a bit of a tricky kind of thing for me, is how do you get the drone with you? Do you just put it in your suitcase? Do you take it on as carry-on? Are they gonna complain? Is it gonna go through the scanners? Is it gonna mess up the compass and all that kind of thing? Actually, that wasn't the problem. Stick the drone in the suitcase, in its box. <laughs> no one cares. It'll go through the scanner, it's fine. The biggest thing you need to worry about are the LiPo batteries. So, my little travel companion for this trip was three of these little pouches, proper LiPo, safe bags, that went in my carry-on. Um, they're rather tight fitting on the um, Phantom 4 batteries. Um, but the two and three batteries fit in there, no problem whatsoever. And um, airport security with these got a bit funny because when you take these to airport, because the foil line, because they are safe, if, uh, if the LiPo batteries on charge and it explodes, the explosion will be contained in these bags. 
That means that it's quite a strong material, but airport scanners can't see inside them. So just remember when you go through the scanner, tell them you've got these, put them on a separate tray, and they'll look at them, open them, scan them again outside, and then they'll let you through. So as I said, I brought my drone with me, mainly because, you know, you're going to a nice sunny country, you want to get some nice pictures and things like that, don't you? I did go on the website to make sure there's a special website out there, I'll give you the link below. Um, and it basically gives you the drone laws in all the different countries around the world. So what you can do, what you can't do, even if you're not allowed to bring them in or not, like Cuba, no drones in Cuba. Fortunately, Greece, where I am, not a problem at all. So I packed my drone and I'm thinking, if I want to go out for the day, I want to take my drone with me. And my normal backpack is quite huge when all my stuff's in there. So I came across this. It's a backpack that uses the standard DJI Pantom 4 case. So another thing you're gonna do on holiday is you, um, you're gonna to want to charge your stuff and you're gonna run out of power. And all sorts of other gadgets that you can take away on holiday provide power. And some, you know, are great and some are compact. Whatever, you've seen the stuff that I normally charge with. Um, and this one, which is a Hutu, is kind of like a little bit different. It's got a USB charger, single charger, but good enough for charging an iPad or the Galaxy Note 7, uh, as long as it doesn't explode, um, within kind of like an hour and a half, couple of hours, so it's quite powerful. The beauty about this thing is some of the hotels you go to, they are um, lacking on Wi-Fi, let's say, or even if they've got Wi-Fi, they want to charge you. But pretty much all of them, because they use built-in internet access to get your TV and stuff like that, they've all got LAN. All you need to do, Get the LAN cable, plug it into here, power it up, and this turns into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So the LAN gets the internet connection, the hotspot distributes it to all your devices that connect to it. No proxy servers, no filtering, simple, and you can charge your phone all at the same time. Now I bet you've got um, a special case for your phone. When you carry your drone, I bet you've got a special case for that that protects it nicely and keeps it safe. Even I bet your pocket camera, I bet you've got a special case for that. Well, what about protecting all your memories of your holiday? When you change your SD card or your micro SD card, and you put them in a proper waterproof protective case. Link below. Now say you've come away and you've got your drone footage, your GoPro 5 footage, your footage from your normal point and shoot camera and then your footage from your phone camera and you put it all on your laptop and then your laptop says it's running out of disk space because you've been all day and you've not stopped droning and taking pictures so that's where your external little ssd one terabyte drive comes in handy usb 3 precom put all your stuff on there it's very rugged waterproof Take it with you wherever you want, plus it'll handle the rough and tumble of an airport security people if they get it out and drop it. Yes, they did. Yes, it still works. So, well proven. Great to have. Link below. So this is a new Panasonic DMC TZ100 point and shoot camera from Panasonic with a Leica lens. Um, great little point and shoot with a pretty good zoomy lens on there. And quite quick switch on, switch off again, taking pictures, all that kind of thing. Does 4K video. And uh, we're doing a proper review of this, but I thought for now, just sort of give you a quick overview of this is the greatest little point and shoot I've yet had. Um, and it certainly matches the camera I've got at home, my Panasonic GH4. So um, cannot argue with this little fella so far. Now, these big gorilla pods are fantastic, especially going out doing water sports or beach or anything like that. Because not only can you sort of wrap it around your arm anywhere to hold on certain position for cameras while you're recording it, but you can do it around trees, lampposts, anything else you want. Or, you know, if you're a vlogger. And you can also vlog into it with optical stabilisation of the camera and the tripod. Pretty much set it up anywhere you want. Any angle you want, any way you want, like I said, any angle, any way you want. Links in the description, but another great thing to take with you, squeeze it in your suitcase, you'll find space. But as a photographer, great for time lapses and things like that, absolutely fantastic. So that's really uh, it for my little holiday tips and trips and tips. No trips, you're not seeing the trips yet, that's coming. But my tips for holidaying, 
what to take with you gadget wise and some holiday hacks as well just to make things a little bit easy when you go away and you have to pack all that stuff and charge it all when you get there and power it all so um hope you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you did click on the subscribe button as well while you're there it really helps so thanks very much for watching take care see you soon bye